Laws of Indices. One of my introductory videos gave a brief introduction to powers of numbers. See link below. So you know that 2 to the power of 4 or 2 to the 4th power is 2 written 4 times being multiplied. You know that 2 to the 3rd power is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 2 to the 2nd power, 2 multiplied by 2. 2 to the 1st power is just 2. And 2 to the 0th power is equal to, it is equal to 1. Any quantity raised to the power of 0 is 1. With multiplication, let us consider x to the 3rd power multiplied by x to the 4th power. That is, x multiplied by x multiplied by x being multiplied by x being multiplied 4 times which gives x being multiplied 7 times. So that's x to the 7th power. x to the 3rd power multiplied by x to the 4th power is equal to x to the 7th power. But did you notice that 3 plus 4 is equal to 7? We see that x to the 3rd power multiplied by x to the 4th power is actually equal to x to the 3 plus 4th power, x to the 7th power. In general, when we multiply quantities with the same base, we add their indices. Division. Consider x to the 8th power divided by x to the 5th power. That is, x being multiplied 8 times divided by x being multiplied 5 times. Cancelling, we get x multiplied by x multiplied by x, which is x to the 3rd power. So x to the 8th power divided by x to the 5th power is equal to x to the 3rd power. But 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. x to the 8th power divided by x to the 5th power is equal to x to the 8th minus 5th power. x to the 3rd power. We see that when we divide quantities with the same base, we subtract the denominator index from the numerator index. Powers. Consider x cubed all squared. That is x multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by itself which is x being multiplied 6 times x to the 6th power so we see that x to the 3rd power all squared is equal to x to the 6th power but 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 x to the 3rd power all squared is equal to x to the 3 multiplied by 2 th power which is x to the 6th power. In general, when we raise the power of a quantity to another power, we multiply the indices. To understand what a negative index means, we use division. Consider x to the 3rd power divided by x to the 5th power, which is x being multiplied 3 times divided by x being multiplied 5 times. Cancelling, we get 1 over x multiplied by x, which is 1 over x squared. But from division, we learn that x to the third power divided by x to the fifth power is equal to x to the 3 minus 5 power, which is x to the negative 2 power. So we see here that x to the negative 2 power is the same as 1 over x squared. Thus, in general, a to the negative mth power is the same as 1 over a to the mth power. That is, the negative index indicates the reciprocal of a quantity. Fractional indices, we consider 4 to the power of a half. Now we know that 2 squared is equal to 4. Substituting, we get that 4 to the half power is the same as 2 squared to the half power. And we learned in powers that 2 squared to the half power is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by a half. 2 multiplied by a half is equal to 1 and 2 to the 1 power is equal to 2. And we know that 2 is the square root of 4. So it follows that 4 to the half power is the same as the square root of 4. In general, a raised to the 1 over n power is the same as the nth root of a. That is, a raised to the 1 over 3 is the same as the cubic root of a. And we saw in the previous example that a to the 1 over 2 power is the square root of a. It follows that a to the m over n power 
which is the same as a to the nth power, all raised to the power of 1 over n, is equal to the nth root of a to the m power. That is, in a fractional index, the numerator indicates the power to which the quantity must be raised, and the denominator indicates the root. In summary, any quantity raised to a power of 0 is 1. When we multiply quantities with the same base, we add their indices. When we divide quantities with the same base, we subtract the denominator index from the numerator index. When a quantity raised to a power is raised to another power, we multiply the indices. A negative index indicates the reciprocal of a quantity. And in a fractional index, the numerator indicates the power and the denominator the root. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I am trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.